Hey there folks and welcome back for another video and Lexi is here so I just figured I'd show her at the onset that gets bonus points I know three pounds of terror right here All right Lexi set you down okay in today's video we're gonna do something that's been requested many many times uh, particularly recently um, I've been asked for a comprehensive list of my favorite artisans and I will go with 25 for you guys today now <clears throat> there are some ground rules and I'm going to refer to my iPad because there's just no way I can remember all this stuff. First of all, for anybody to be considered, I have to have used at least three of their soaps. All right, three. They also have to be a current soap maker. That is to say, currently producing soaps. And also they must re retail soaps in the U.S. So I realize there are going to be some vendors that retail soaps out um, in other places, but not the U.S. and they wouldn't be eligible um, for my list. Also, one of the things I want to make clear is I'm ranking these based on my preferences. And so in some cases, the artisans will be higher on the list because of scent. And in some cases, they'll be higher because of quality. So, you know, that's sort of a, a wash. Um, some soaps I like because they have great scents. Other soaps I like because they just have great quality. And, and, so, and so there you have it. Um, <clears throat> Also, first I want to start off with some honorable mentions. And the reason why is because I haven't used enough soaps of these particular soap makers to uh, allow them to be eligible. However, I strongly feel they will be making this list and, and likely knock some other ones out. So I'm going to start with uh, K Shave Works. Honorable mention simply because I've only used them twice. But I have to say, in both cases, I've been very impressed and I fully expect that K Shave Works will probably bump someone out. Um, Bufflehead. I've only used two Bufflehead soaps. I found it to be a very good quality. Um, I found the container to be excellent and I fully expect that when I get a chance to try more that will probably bump someone out. Uh, Sir Hare. Um, I've enjoyed the two that I've tried. However, I really like their barber barbershop the best. As they develop new soaps in the future, I would expect at some point Sir Hare will make my list, but I've only tried two so far. Um, Sapona de Paula, um, I've only tried two, and again, I've been impressed with both. The scents are a little light on some, but I have been impressed overall with that soap, and I would expect it to make the list in the future. We also have, um, let's see, Captain's Choice and also Wickham. Wickham is no longer retailed in the U.S., but I still wanted to mention, because I think it's a fine soap, but there are no longer any um, distributors here in the U.S., um, and also there are guys like Tim's that just no longer making soap. So those people would not be on the list. Now, if anyone else is missing, it's either because I haven't tried it, I no longer use it, or they weren't good enough to make the list, in my opinion. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about what I don't use. So please don't send me a bunch of questions and comments about what I don't use. If you want to suggest something for me to try, that's fine. But don't ask me why I'm not using this artisan or that artisan. This list is my list. All right, so we start off with number 25. And with number 25, we're going with Dr. John. And this is an interesting selection in the two soaps that I'm going to give you from Dr. John because it's virtually the same soap. Only one is methylated. It is Hydra and Arctic Hydra. I really like those two soaps the best out of all the soaps I've used uh, with Dr. John's. And Dr. John's comes in at 25. Coming in at number 24, Chiseled Face. And my two favorite soaps from uh, Chiseled Face would have to be Ghost Town Barber and Trade Winds. Ghost Town Barber is kind of a barbershop scent. And Trade Winds is sort of an aqua. And it, it's really hard to describe. Now, he has a lot of other scents that are really earthy and masculine. And a lot of them just aren't for me. But I do really like those two. And Chiseled Face comes in at number 24. Number 23 out of the UK, Nanny Silly Soap. And the two that I've really liked from Nanny Silly Soap is Citrus Zinger and Lime. I'm a citrus nut, and those two just really hit the spot. Um, I haven't used Nanny Silly Soap as much as probably I'd like. I do think it's a quality soap, and it comes in at number 23. Coming in at number 22, Reef Point Soaps. And there are two excellent choices that I really love from uh, Reef Point. Actually, there are more than two, but these are two of my favorites. Um, Earl Grey and Ginger and Admiralty. Um, the Earl Grey and Ginger is to me is just a unique scent. It's got that wonderful um, tea type scent. It's very refreshing and the aftershave is also excellent. And Admiralty is like the Japanese yuzu and it smells wonderful and I love it. 
Coming in at number 21, Beaver Woodwright soaps. And Kelly from Beaver Woodwright is a great guy. And the two soaps that I really like most of his is Thomas Two, which is a citrusy, bright scent, and uh, James Moody, which also has some lemon or I think something along those lines. Something citrusy in there that I really like. Those are my two selections from Beaver Woodwright. Coming in at number 20, Dapper Dragon. Dapper Dragon is an often overlooked soap, but I really like it. And my two favorites would have to be uh, Signature and I believe Cucumber Melon. It's hard to really choose two favorites because there are like four or five that I really like. But I think if I push come to shove, those would probably be my two favorites from Dapper Dragon. Coming in at number 20. Rolling in at number 19, Panna Crema from uh, Italy and my two favorite scents um, so far on that brand are Nostalgia and I think it's called Namasti and Nostalgia is like an orange scent and I don't even remember off the top of my head what Namasti is um, but I really like it. Sadly I think um, I read somewhere that uh, Nostalgia was discontinued. Why? Why? It's the best scent. At least it is to me, but sadly it's been discontinued. But uh, Panna Crema, again, coming in at number 19. Coming in at number 18, Soapy Bathman. And Chris Erskine from Soapy Bathman's a really nice guy. And he makes some good soap. I think the two that I really like in that line are, are um, I think it's Irish Waterfall. Let me consult my iPad. Tropical Lime would be the second one. Both great scents. He's a great soap maker. Uh, give him a shot if you've never tried it. Soapy Bathman. Coming in at number 17, the longest name company, artisan, I think, out there. Through the Fire Fine Craft. Through the Fire uh, Fine uh, Craft. She makes soaps for a lot of different people, so sometimes you may be using her soap and don't even know it. But my two favorite from her line, interestingly, are Maggard branded, but Maria Armin makes them. Um, and that is the Orange and the Barbershop. Her Barbershop and the Maggard line runs with anybody's barbershop so fantastic in my opinion very very good soap uh, coming in at what number was that 17 through the fire fine craft too long of a night but she makes good soap coming in at number 16 we go to the outback and we will talk about shaver heaven um anthony macri very very nice guy and he makes some good soap my two favorite I think uh, our uh, Forbidden Forest, with the, which is kind of a fougere um, scent, and Meyer Lemon, which is a citrusy scent and, and just the kind of scent that I like. Shaver Heaven. Coming in at number 15, the specialist at scenting soaps any way you please, Ginger's Garden. And my favorite products at Ginger's Garden are actually her Argan Creams. I find them to be better than her soaps. Just my opinion. My two favorite scents in that are the Japanese yuzu, or just yuzu, I think she calls it, and Drakkar, the old cologne. I love her argan uh, creams, and I think they're excellent. Give Ginger's Garden creams a shot if you haven't tried them. Coming in at number 14, probably a surprise to some people, Mystic Water. And Mystic Water has been known to be finicky, lathering for some people, but recently I've been using it. I've been having a really great time with it. And my two favorites are Lime and Irish Traveler. Irish Traveler has that sort of uh, green Irish tweed scent and Lime is obviously a lime, but it's a beautiful lime and probably ignored far more than it should. Um, in fact, the soap in general, more people should try it. Just make sure you load heavy and relatively dry and watch your water. It's a great soap. Coming in at number 13, Holy Cow, or Holy Cow, or however you say that, I have no clue. Um, and my two favorites from that are Lav Sublime and Fougere Bouquet. Both are really, really nice. It is a great quality of vegan soap, in my opinion, just excellent. Coming in at number 12, and this is a rare instance where the quality of the soap is just so good, I really have to ev elevate it uh, quite a bit, Shannon's Soaps. Admittedly, all the scents aren't for me. Um, however, in the ones that I like, the quality is so good. I lathered it recently, and it had one of the best lathers that I've ever had. It's always been of good quality. A lot of people don't use it, but it is really good for me. Um, probably my favorite scents are the Lemongrass Lavender, I think it's called. Let me consult the iPad. Yeah, Lavender Lemongrass. And then she's got a new one that she sent to me for a test. It's called LVR, which I think to mean lavender. But I'm not sure, and I really, really like that one. Now, I've tried other 
Shannon soaps as well. But those two are really the ones that I enjoy, and hopefully she'll let us know what that LVR is so we can buy it when it comes out because it's got a great scent. It's great quality. Coming in at number 11, Soap Smooth. And my two favorites in that line, line are um, Lime Soda, which has got that great, robust lime scent, and Toulouse, which is a nice, sweet, something I can't describe scent that just smells wonderful. It's a good quality soap. A lot of people ignore it. They should not. Soap Smooth. Coming in at number 10, Razor Rock. And the reason Razor Rock is at 10 because it's just... So many great soaps in that collection. I realize some people don't think they're up to snuff with others, but I got to tell you, if you try SMF, which is Santa Maria, whatever the rest of that is, it'll change your opinion on Razor Rock quality. Uh, my two favorites, Triple X and that SMF. Excellent soaps. I could name you 15 Razor Rock um, scents that I really love. He has some of the best scented soaps, um, I think, in the, in the industry. Um, sometimes they're a little light on scent, but man, the scents are by and large phenomenal. Razor Rock, great prices too. Coming in at number nine, WSP, Wet Shaving Product Soaps. They are just wonderful soaps. Um, now they have the, uh, what's it called, Formula T, tallow soaps, they're wonderful. I think both the vegan and tallow soaps are wonderful. And my favorites in that line are Gaelic Tweed, which is the green Irish tweed uh, scent, and Barbershop, although I could have picked any number of WSP soaps because they have a lot of great scents. WSP. Coming in at number eight, another great budget soap. And this is another brand where it's hard for me to pick uh, my favorite scents because I like so many of them. Sterling. Great quality. It can run with just about any soap in quality, in my opinion. Um, my favorite scented soaps in that uh, line is... Sharp Dressed Man, which is Green Irish Tweed scent, and I'm going to say Mountain Man because I love that scent. It's uh, based on one of Creed's aftershaves. It is wonderful, and their aftershaves are quite good, too. Uh, so, um, Sterling coming in, I believe, at number eight. Coming in at number seven, Tiki. I think Tiki soaps have always been of very high quality. Sometimes it takes a while to ship. She's a busy woman, but she always makes it right, and, uh, you know, I think her soaps are really good. Sometimes I've gotten some that weren't as good as others, but generally speaking, it's a very, very good soap, and uh, I believe it's my number seven choice, and the two that I like the most are Landlocked and Volcano. Those are my two favorite Tiki scents, although I could probably list, you know, six or seven that I really like in the Tiki line. Coming in at number six, Mickey Lee Soaps. The new formulation, I think, is excellent, excellent, excellent. The only thing I don't like about the new <laughs> Mickey Lee soaps are the labels. I find them a little bit convoluted to read. I really prefer the old labels with just sort of the white, you know, like the old, uh, what was it, Drunken Goats? Got the picture of the, like, goat head on there. I thought that was pretty cool. I prefer the old labels, but I love the new soap, and it is my number six uh, selection. My two favorites in Mickey Lee's line is the, um, oh, what's the Kraken, which is a barbershop uh, aqua type scent, I believe, and the Colonia, which is that uh, aqua de Parma type scent. Wonderful soaps from wonderful people. Coming in at number six, Mickey Lee soaps. Coming in at number five, Soap Commander. Soap Commander shirt on, by the way. Wonderful soaps, um, unique packaging, salt of the earth people. It's really hard to find fault with Soap Commander soaps. They are, in my opinion, the most consistent soap maker. When you get a Soap Commander soap, the quality of it is always the same across the board. You don't get one and it lathers a little differently from the next. They are all the same and they're virtually almost filled to the same level in every jar. I mean, consistency, professionalism, excellent Soap Commander. Let me give you my top two cents uh, from Soap Commander. Respect, which is a, I believe, like lime patchouli or something along those lines. And Inspiration, which I believe is the uh, Yuzu, which is very, very good scent for me. Coming in at number four, Mike's Natural Soaps. Mike makes soaps the way he wants, when he wants, how he wants, but the quality is undeniable. My two favorites from the line are Barbershop and Hungarian Laver. Excellent, excellent soaps. Always of um, expert level quality, in my opinion. Coming in at number three, 
Cold River Soap Works. Excellent soap, excellent packaging, nice guy. I've never had any quality issues whatsoever with Cold River Soap Works. My top two scents would have to be, and this is tough because I like most of his scents. I would have to say Citrus and it's a uh, this is tough, but I'm going to have to go with Puro Fresco, which is kind of a Razor Rock 1X kind of scent, and I love it. So, um, excuse me, <clears throat> Cold River Soap Works is just wonderful. Coming in at number two, Barrister and Man. Excellent quality soap every time, no matter what. The only question is going to be, do you like the scent? And for me, I would have to say my top two scents is Seville and Cheshire. Nice, spicy Wonderful scents. Um, really, you always know for a fact when you order from Barrister Man, it's going to be a quality product. And that you can count on. And last but not least, number one, and you may have guessed it, Katie's Bubbles. Why? Because for me, Katie's Bubbles has the best combination of both scents and quality. I can buy most soaps from Katie's Bubbles, and I do enjoy the scent. And every single time, they lather easily. They always perform well. They leave me wanting for nothing. So Katie's Bubbles, at this time, is my number one artisan soap maker. Um, and to give you my top two scents, which is difficult, because he has a ton of great scents. LMR, which is an aqua, aqua digio and something else sort of mix that's really wonderful. And... Um, the Parma Inspiration, which is sold by Razor Blades and more, and it has that classic Aqua de Parma scent. Wonderful soap maker, wonderful soaps. For me, you can't go wrong with Katie's Bubbles. There you have it, folks. My top 25 artisan soap makers, as requested by you guys. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, we remind you, keep them up, keep them open, and follow that money to get to the truth.